hey guys hello and welcome to another video of power automate today so in today's video we will see how can we extract html tables in power automate desktop right so uh, i have just created a new flow in this and here i have a table right if you see this table this is an html table right so uh, in today's video we'll see how can we extract this table into our power automate right so th there can be different methods to extract this table but in today's video i'll be utilizing extract data from web pages right so quickly i will just launch my chrome right so launch news instance and i'll take it as normal and click save right so this is by this my this website will be launched i'll close this website and run it i'll just give the run delay as one and run it right so if you see my website is being launched now i want to extract this table right so i'll go and i will search for an option called extract data from web page right so under browser automation we have this option of extract data from web page although there can be a different methods you can also use get details of web page and you can you know dynamically extract each an element of any html table right and but using this section we can just directly uh, utilize this action and extract all the information all the uh, data from a table right so once uh, you drag and drop that action automatically this live web helper will open right currently you see there are no extraction have been selected and if i move this uh, cursor to this table it will say that this is the html header cell this is also a cell and below if you go this is a data cell right so the difference is this is header and this is data cell this Mm, power automate has identified that okay this is a table right so now if i go in here right and i right click this one so i have some options right if i go with select parent ui element see if i so parent ui element is basically this all table so if i go to the this this is the parent ui element it has but i have to extract all the elements in one go so what i'll do is i'll just right click here and i'll say extract html table right so now if you see all your table available on the page has been extracted in this way right i'll just click finish and let's see how it runs save and let's run so one prerequisite for this action is for extract data from web page is uh, your web browser window should be focused right it should be on the fore foreground screen right so currently it is running so if you see here it has extracted the data right so if you see it has extracted all the data here i'll just we make it big right and if you see the table here we have the table and here we have the data but if you see this is you know not a process data not a very well formatted data so i'll go again into this i'll take this option process data upon extraction and let's see how this data will be processed right so i'll close this one also and i will run this process again <clears throat> right so my web page has been launched my table is opened and currently my bot is extracting the data right so it has extracted the data let's see now if you see it has processed the data right so if you see we have 100 line items and this also have 100 entries right so this is how we can extract the data let's say that this data exists on the multiple pages then in that case how can i extract the data so let's say that here i have only 10 entries available right 
and then the pages the data is being segregated into multiple pages now how can i extract the data from each of the page right so i'll go back to i'll close this one and i will just disable this action for now and i will take this action again right i'll just open my see this is automatically being opened so in the same way we have done earlier i'll just go on to my table cell right click on this and i'll say that extract entire html table right so if you go here see this the element has been extracted now i'll go to this next element right i'll right click this and select as element as pager right now if you go to advanced settings this is the attribute for your table if you see table what it is extracting is inner text right you can give different attributes you can give own text so it has you know different properties each css selector has its different properties if you write own text it will uh, extract you the text right and this is the selector for your next page right so i'll click ok and we'll see how this will look right now it has some options enabled right what it is saying is what data you want to extract right only the first or all available values right so if i say that okay extract me all available values i'll just uh, turn this on send physical click for next page so that you will be able to see what is happening at the background right so i'll just close my so what i'll do is I will use attach and by title my title will be available shortly see it is available now let's run it right so it has maximized and now if you see it is clicking next button right see it will click next button till it reach the last page see it is extracting currently at page five and at six if you deselected that element it will just have done it work in the background and will not show that okay it is clicking next and next and next right so it has extracted the data let's say see the bot has been stopped and if you see it has collected the data from 1 to 100 right now let's say that you want to extract the data only for the two pages and not for all so i'll select only the first it means two pages right so i'll click save i'll make it go to the first page right and i will run it again right it has clicked next and currently extracting the data and it has successfully extracted two pages right so let's say that your uh, control is on the second page so what it will do it will extract the data from the second page and then it click next and then it will extract the page data from the third page so this is how it works right so now i'll close this one right so this is how extract the data from html table now we will see how it will help us to extract the data from the structured tables or from the structured data right so let me just open a website let's say let's open a okay, let's open a flipkart website right so okay i have clicked flipkart but it is showing amazon anyway okay so here i will type mobiles okay now what i want to do is i want to extract this data the name of the phone the price right and the ratings right so this if, how can we use this extract data from web page so this is a structured data if you see this is a structured data all these things are being in a structure right so what i'll do is 
I'll simply disable this action, right? And I'll take another action. Right, and I'll open my browser. And what I'll do is I'll just simply so <clears throat> I'll just right click on this and I will say that extract this value. Right. So once I click this, this is shown here that okay, this data has been extracted. Now I want to extract price. So I will go to the price, right click, and I'll say that okay, extract the value. Okay, now I'll go to the rating simply right extract value and i'll say that okay extract this ratings also right now what i'll do is i'll go to the next element and i'll right click here and i'll say that extract this value also so once i click this the next element if you see now it has extracted all the data now if you see it has extracted the data right and i'll just click finish right i'll say that process data on extraction click save and let's just change the title right i'll just choose this one and let's run Okay, I think it has extracted the data. If you see it has extracted this, right? The rating this is extracted. Now this one, if you see 4.5, let's let's let us see why it has given us like this. Then it has extracted this one correctly. This one also it has extracted correctly. And all other they are not very much correct. So why they are not very much correct is if you go, it has also highlighted what data it has extracted, right? So it has extracted this OPPO one and the price. And then it has extracted the rating now in the next also it has extracted in here it has not extracted anything in here if you see it has extracted this rating first why it has done so is because here if you see the first line contains sponsored and in the second one it has the name right so what bot has done under the structured format it has find in the second line this rating right the price is consistent for all these elements and why it has not extracted this one is because if you see if this bestseller was not here it would have extracted this also right if you go below so for this phone for a sponsored phone it has extracted the data correctly right see it has extracted the data correctly for all the sponsored phones let's extract the data for non-sponsored one and let's say let's see how it will work right so i'll again open this and once my live web helper is active i'll just have this one extract this right is it has extracted this let's extract the price right and let's go with this one let's see if it extracts the value or not okay okay let's extract more let's not go with the sponsored one Right, so now if you see it has got all the elements right but since because this uh, phone this phone has a different attributes because of this best seller that's why it is not extracting the data but if this would have been in a structured format it would have extracted it in a very good way and it can also give us data in an excel spreadsheet so if i choose excel and if I run it, right, 
right so if you see it can also give us the values in an excel right so it has given all the values which we have extracted this one is because of one best seller attributes extra in the value but it has extracted all other this the one blanks are the sponsored one you can also you know uh, make another extract video or another extract action you can say and you can only choose the sponsored ones right this, so this is how this extract data from web page works right so into the next video what we will be seeing is once we have extracted this nriep data what we will be doing is we will be clicking on this uh, pdf file and then we will be saving these pdf files to a to a folder right so here we can give any name and then we click save and we will be saving this data with this id right so you can try this on your own and in the next video we will see how can we extract these pdfs using a dynamic attributes right so this is all about this video if you like this video like share and comment see you in the next video till then bye happy automation